Hello, thank you for watching this tutorial on regions and habitats of Georgia. The purpose of this tutorial is so that you will learn about the three regions of Georgia and five habitats located in the state of Georgia. We'll be using a PowerPoint presentation titled Georgia Habitats. Please follow along and I hope that you learn a lot today. The first region of Georgia is the Piedmont region. You also note that it says the Georgia Piedmont habitat because the Piedmont region also has animals and plants which create its own habitat. The Georgia Piedmont is between the mountains and the plains. So this, if you look at the board here, is the Piedmont region. And it is known for weather and nutrient poor soil. Piedmont habitat land animals. You will note here that you have the raccoon. These nocturnal animals are found in urban, suburban, and rural habitats. They are also found from the mountains to the coast, but the most prominent place you will find them would be the Piedmont region and habitat. The white-tailed deer is the smallest deer in North America. This is the red fox. It hunts alone or in small family groups, and they are both common to the Piedmont region and habitat. Looking good. If you will look at the PowerPoint, you will also note there are other animals that are mostly located in the Piedmont region and habitat. Now what you'll find as we continue to learn about regions of Georgia and habitats of Georgia, you, sometimes you find animals in more than one region or habitat in Georgia. Here they have a squirrel, you have a rabbit, a possum, brown thrasher, and then you have bats. Now, one thing I would like to notice, let's just take the moment to explain to you that this bird is not just any old bird, it is the brown thrasher. And something that's important about that particular bird is that it is the state bird of Georgia and you will find it in the Piedmont region. Piedmont water animals. In the Piedmont region, you will find lakes and rivers, pretty prominent in the area. So you will find reptiles, snakes, frogs, and lizards. Because they are reptiles, they like to be near water. They don't necessarily completely live in water. They like land and water, which makes the Piedmont region and habitat an excellent place for their survival. We have the cottonmouth water moccasin, which is in camouflage here. Then you have a blue-tailed skink, which is, to me, I, at first I had to look it up, but it's not a poisonous lizard, but it looks rather unusual, but it will be found in the Piedmont region. Here, you have a picture of a beaver, and then you have some duck. Piedmont habitat trees. If you walk around in the Piedmont area of Georgia, there are certain types of trees that are common to that area or that part of Georgia. The first would be the live oak, which you can see here is Georgia State tree. Beautiful, full grown trees, beautiful. You have dogwood trees, Georgia pine trees, and sweet gum trees. The plants pictured here are common to the Piedmont region. And we have here the Cherokee Rose, Azaleas, and Iris. Now, earlier we talked about the fact that the brown thrasher is the state bird of Georgia, where here you see pictured the state flower of Georgia, which is the Cherokee Rose. And that's all I want to say right now about the Piedmont region of Georgia. The next region we're going to be talking about is the Georgia Mountains region. But before we actually move into the Georgia Mountains region, we're going to stop for a moment and do an actual written activity called Let's Get Regional.